Matthew Monavon started his NFL career last episode and was drafted by the Green Bay Packers, and today we're continuing his career. Through the first four games of the season, his team was sitting at 2-2, two and two, but hopefully we could change that here through the next couple of weeks. Despite that, Matthew has been putting up very solid numbers as a rookie receiver so far this year, but that hasn't stopped the Packer fans from calling him out on social media. They've been clamoring for him to change his jersey number from 12 to another one that wasn't Aaron Rodgers' old number. So not wanting to piss off the Green Bay fans, Matthew you obliged and he would change his jersey number to number one. Hopefully this isn't going to change how he performs on the field. We'll see how things go for Matthew this week as he was taking on the Raiders in his new uniform number and early in the first quarter things were not looking too promising for him so far. Jordan Love was having a hard time connecting with him but would finally find him on the slant route across the middle and would go right back to Matthew again on an out route to pick up a first down to keep this drive alive. Matthew would show his football IQ here as he would deviate from his route to find the open zone in the defense which would help Jordan Love avoid taking a sack and that would allow for Aaron Jones to finish off this opening drive with a 10-yard touchdown run. Matthew had a chance to put the Packers up by two possessions here, but once again, Jordan Love just didn't seem to have the accuracy when trying to connect with Matthew. That wasn't going to stop these two though, as Jordan kept going back to Matthew as much as he could with the ball, and finally he would find Matthew wide open in the end zone with a perfect pass to him, as that would be Matthew's fifth touchdown in only five games so far. The Packers would now only need one more first down to secure the win against the Raiders, and after Matthew picked it up for his team, they would walk away with a victory in week five. Following that win, Matthew and his team had a bye week, and the offense made sure to put in a lot of work in their off time, and it sure seemed to pay off for them as they started week 7 off with a bang against Denver, as Aaron Jones would take this one 53 yards to the house to start the game. The offense continued their hot start to the game as then Christian Watson would find the end zone for the Packers, and Matthew would end up being less than a yard short on this play of finding the end zone himself, but Jordan Love would end up throwing an interception on the very next play. Matthew was now looking to get his team down the field for some more points this drive, as they didn't want to miss on another opportunity to go up by two possessions over Denver. On third and three, Matthew had what looked like a wide open first down, but would somehow drop this pass, but he would make up for it on the very next play as they would go for it on fourth down and he would pick up the first. All of that did not matter though, as the offense would not be able to pick up the first down on this third and six. And sure enough, we would end up missing the field goal before half. And to make matters worse, Aaron Jones would break off another huge run here that he would end up taking all the way to the end zone. But Matthew got a little too aggressive on one of his blocks and would get flagged for it in the touchdown would be called back. He would try to make up for it though by picking up this first down pass in traffic across the middle of the field, which would help lead the offense down the field for a touchdown that possession. Once again, Matthew would pick up one more first down for the offense when it was needed most here late in the fourth quarter as the Packers would run out the rest of the clock to pick up their second victory in a row. Matthew and the Packers are now looking to make it three wins in a row this week at home against Minnesota, and Matthew was off to a hot start picking up two receptions on their first drive. But by the second quarter, the Packers were down by three and Matthew had been pretty quiet since that opening drive of the game. That made this third and nine crucial as they needed points badly and Jordan Love would find a wide open receiver in Matthew who would take this down inside the five yard line. And on the very next play, Love would go right back to him in the back of the end zone as he would make this incredible toe dragging catch to give the Packers the lead back before halftime. The defense would come up with a huge stop against the Vikings giving their offense one more chance to score and Matthew did his best to try to get the offense down into field goal range with no timeouts left for them to use. But the Packers would end up headed into half with only a four point lead. Matthew and the offense had been pretty quiet throughout the entire third quarter and now found themselves trailing by three points here in the fourth. They had managed to work their way down into the red zone but on third and goal Jordan Love would almost throw what could have been the game ending interception in the end zone. And so after settling for a field goal to tie it up the Packers had one more chance to win this game. Then the dagger came on first and ten as Matthew ran a crossing route with Romeo Dobbs who became wide open for the touchdown and that would seal the deal here for the Packers as they made it three straight wins. Matthew and the Packers were looking to close out the first half of the season strong, but it would be tough to do that today as they were taking on the Rams in some wet and rainy conditions. Just like last week, Matthew was off to a hot start on their first drive of the game, and these weather conditions didn't seem to be affecting him at all so far today, or the rest of the offense either, as they would score with ease on their first possession. Things did seem to cool off for Matthew and the offense, however, though, throughout the second quarter, but it didn't take long for them to get right back on track, as Matthew would come down with his eighth touchdown reception of the season, and that would complete his rookie contract contract goal set for him by the front office. The Packers front office definitely had high expectations for Matthew coming in as a first round pick this year, but I don't think they expected him to perform this well so quickly. The same could be said about the rest of the team as well, and thanks to Matthew's great play so far this season, the Packers were tied for first place in their division. Halfway through his rookie season, Matthews put up great numbers, and he was on pace to be one of the best receivers in the league this year, and upgrading his catch into a 90 and short route to 78 was only going to help that cause. Matthew and the Packers were back on the road and taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers, as he would already 
already have two receptions on their first drive, and for his third one, Jordan Love would find him in the end zone for a touchdown, as Matthew couldn't ask for a better start to this game. He would keep racking up the receptions and receiving yards on offense, and was doing his best to try to help the offense keep moving the ball down the field in tough situations. They would get into the red zone and decided to try to pound the ball in on the ground, and even though Matthew would get subbed out here, his team would still have a 7 point lead at halftime. They would come out of the gate swinging right away to start the second half, as Matthew had a chance for a touchdown here, but had some miscommunication with Love. Even though they didn't get the touchdown, they still got some points out of it, and those points would be enough for Matthew and his team to get the win in Pittsburgh. It was Matthew's first time getting to wear the throwbacks in Green Bay, and he seemed to be performing well in these new uniforms for him. On first and goal, the Packers would cap off this drive with a touchdown, and Matthew was hoping to help get his team down the field and into the end zone again this drive. While Matthew is much more of a possession receiver and not the shiftiest of players, it was cool to see him slip this tackle here and fight for some extra yards. Headed into the fourth quarter though, the Packers were now down by a touchdown and things weren't looking good for them, as the Chargers had done a pretty good job of holding Matthew pretty quiet in the second half so far today. But now that it was clutch time, he was starting to heat back up again for the offense, and with only three seconds left though, the Packers would only have one option left, and that was a Hail Mary, as Jordan Love would launch this pass deep into the end zone, but it would fall incomplete, and the Packers' win streak had finally snapped here at home. Despite the loss, the Packers were still tied for the division lead, so that made their Thanksgiving game against Detroit even more important. The Lions had already defeated them at home earlier this season in overtime, so they currently held the tiebreaker over the Packers. That didn't quite sit right with Matthew though as he wanted to win the division, so he came out today and was doing everything that he could to help the Packers get a win, as both him and Jordan Love were finally starting to get used to each other's tendencies at this point in the season and were locking in together. Of course though, not all plays for this duel would be perfect, but hey, they still had the lead headed into halftime. Matthew and Jordan were driving the ball down the field on their first second half possession with ease against the Lions defense, and Matthew would have a chance to seal this drive off with a touchdown here, but would take a hit and not be able to hold on to the ball. So Jordan Love would go right back to him again, and he would drop the ball again. But third time is the charm, as there was no one on him here, and I really couldn't believe this. Just look how wide open Matthew was. That defense would sum up this game for Detroit, as Matthew played fantastic in his Thanksgiving debut, and to celebrate his team having the division lead now, Matthew hopped on Superstar Showdown, where we were going to try to grind out a win here, and possibly get some more skill points to upgrade our attributes. I'll be completely honest and tell you I have yet to win a single match on this game mode, but Matthew has definitely developed a lot since the start of the season, so maybe things will be a bit different this time. Maybe not though if Lamar Jackson keeps selling us out with throws like these though, but at least our opponent's Lamar Jackson seem to be selling him out too though. And I can't make this up as this was just becoming a match of who could get the most interceptions this game from Lamar Jackson, so we needed a touchdown badly this drive and Matthew would clutch up and deliver one for us. But our opponent would march right down the field and get a touchdown of his own, so that meant we needed a touchdown this drive or we would lose for good and once again Lamar Jackson would sell us out with an interception and I am still winless in Superstar Showdown. At least we got a skill point though and with two skill points in total to use we would upgrade short route running to an 84, add short route elite bronze tier, and equip silver sticky fingers to our ability loadout.